Hi everyone, I just figured out a little tip and finale that is one of those little things that sometimes I've just ignored, but I figured out how to do it right, and I figured I would share that with you as well. I got this info just from Googling, and it was this first one that already just showed me the text from it, how Google does, um, and it's from a finale forum. So what I'm basically showing you how to do is how to make a tie go into the second ending bar when you have a first and second ending and you want to tie something that will tie into both the first and the second ending. If you don't use this trick then what will happen is you will actually not have the tie showing as it should going into the second ending. So here's how you do this. This is for Mac uh, this is for Mac. What you do is hold down Option and hit the equal sign key. And it ties to the previous note rather than to the, to the uh, next note. Normally just pressing the equals key without Option ties to the next note, but if you hold down Option it ties to the previous note, and so now that looks correct. I'll show you this in uh, one of the other ones. So I have this, which this instrument is playing, which is a tenor saxophone, and this is in concert pitch. So I want him to just hold on to that D in bass clef. For the second ending. But oh no, you say, the tie is not displaying. Well, worry not. Speedy entry, choose that bar, get your crosshairs selected onto the right note which they already are in this case, option, equal sign. And voila, we have a tie going to the previous note. All right, well, hope this was helpful to you, and thanks for watching.